So one of the things that we're uh, getting to see here uh, in the very uh, far uh, corner, uh, that is the Esopus Lighthouse. Many of us have gotten to walk out the nice little peninsula out here to the lighthouse. And Sorry, this lighthouse, what did I say? Sorry. This is a very exciting portion of the creek because it's very different than the whole entire rest of the creek, and that's because uh, this whole stretch here is all tidal, which means it is connected to the Hudson River. It means that it's tide. tidal, so twice a day there's a high tide and twice a day there's a low tide. Uh, it's filled with houses and marinas. Uh, right down here is where the clear water docks uh, for the winter months, so it's a place for it to get work done. Uh, you can see all of the boats. Uh, the Lighthouse Drive is the road that comes down and out to the lighthouse. Uh, you can see some of these beautiful houses. This all is uh, in the village of Saugerties. Uh, and this is where the creek meets the Hudson. And so it's a very important place, but it's also a place where you can have some flooding uh, that is related to uh, the Hudson River tidal area. And so uh, it's very similar to some of our other tidal areas. This is where uh, the Asopus Creek becomes non-tidal. It goes over the Cantine Dam uh, here in Saugerties. And you can actually go ahead and see um, the Route 32 bridge there. And uh, this is going up. 9W, I'm sorry. Um, if you look on your left, you're actually getting to see the Esopus Bend uh, Preserve, uh, which winds its way up uh, through uh, Saugerties. It's a great place to hike, and we go here bird watching a lot. Uh, great place to also launch your kayak. They have a kayak race every fall uh, here on this property. It's also uh, one of the, the large forested tracks that has been preserved along the Esopus Creek. There is not a lot of open space along the Esophis Creek, and uh, this place uh, in Saugerties is uh, really uh, amazing. Uh, if you haven't been there, I definitely recommend going. Now, as the helicopter pans out, you'll actually get a, a sense of how the valley uh, here in Saugerties is very different uh, from what you'll see uh, in the next few sections of the creek. You'll read here a little bit later um, when Jim is giving his report, uh, the Esopus is broken up into three different valley sections. And so uh, this section, uh, as you'll hear a little bit later, is defined uh, by its geology. And so uh, this creek here uh, is great uh, for all types of uh, not only aquatic wildlife, but terrestrial habitats. And uh, you very often can go and see uh, all different types of uh, turtles and uh, all types of uh, birds of prey uh, along this stretch. Now one of the neat things about a helicopter is that you're able to, to get to see the creek, uh, like we said, from a, a very different perspective. You can not only see the stream corridor, but you can see what may be right above the banks. And so for most people that have visited uh, the Esopus, uh, you don't usually get to see um, what is behind the trees. And so uh, right up here, um, you saw that uh, mining operation where if you would be boating or kayaking or canoeing, uh, you would have not been able to see this former quarry. One of the things that we're uh, going up on, you'll see how the creek has gotten narrower, and we're about to go over the Mount Marion Bridge, or Glasgow Turnpike there, uh, in Glenary. And so uh, this is one of the sections of the creek that uh, does have uh, some type of uh, flooding issues, and, and Jim will talk about that later. Uh, you'll see a nice little island there, um, which uh, you'll see will collect trees uh, often. Uh, 9W is here on the left side of the screen. <laughs> 